Kripke with Condi Systems Technical, Technical Support and today I'm going to show you how to do duplicate images on one uh, document in Photoshop. I uh, get the call sometimes that people want to know how to place more than one image on a on a document for printing multiples and the answer to that is going to be demonstrated here in this video. So I have already created one document. This is the end result, kind of, sort of. And the reason I say kind of, sort of, is I'm just going to do some uh, tweaking on the image just to show you how easy it is to prepare the image and then to duplicate the layer. Okay? So let's start with a new document. Um, file, new, blank document. And it opens up a dialog box where we can kind of um, make some decisions about how we want our our layer to uh, to open up okay so this is real important and the reason I say that is there are some presets in here that will automatically uh, default to uh, certain things like resolution being higher or lower based on uh, what you're going to do with your with your printout or your actual document uh, we're going to print it out so I like to choose photo because if I choose um, say for instance web that's a 72 by default resolution and when we bring images in on a layer we want to make sure that our layer can handle the um, the images so that it doesn't take uh, pixelated meaning uh, reduce the resolution so I recommend choosing photo or making sure your resolution is set to 300 your color mode is going to be RGB if you're using sublimation uh, inks here at Condi and my background I like transparent and we'll just call this uh, say demo one okay so uh, and then you can choose your document size and this is a great feature because depending on what your size of the image is one if you multiply that you want to make sure that your length and width can handle it uh, so make sure you're choosing a good um, a good a document size for your images to go on. And we're just going to choose 8 by 10 because that's just a standard size. Um, and we'll do portrait. Or you could do landscape, but you do have those options. Portrait. And then I'm going to say OK. And that creates a new document. Now with this document, um, we see we over here to the right, as Photoshop deals with layers, we're going to call this um, image 1 okay because you you can name your 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 layers and that's important with Photoshop because you like to know um, or I like to know and I think you will too what layer I'm dealing with so we're gonna call this image one and with that done I'm gonna come over here and go to file place and it's gonna open up to a location where I have some files in um, this is just going to be a demonstration. I don't have anything spectacular to, to put on the document, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to grab an image here and I double clicked it and it's going to place the image on the page. So I have a check and I have a uh, cancel, meaning a delete uh, or undo. I'm just going to make it an average size. I'm going to place it over here and now what I want to do is just to check it. That means I, I'm good with the size, I'm good with the placement. So if I right click on this image here, I have the opportunity to edit layer style. And this is fun because you can do all kinds of neat things with it. Okay, you have your drop shadow layer. And if I check that, I can, as you can see, this change as I start to add pixels to my layer so again distance that has to do with how far I want my layer to my shadow to uh, extend beyond that image and then the uh, opacity well that's just a uh, transparent kind of thing where you can just kind of play with the transparency and the reason I'm showing you this is just little extra features I like to add in the videos so that you guys you know I don't know hopefully maybe you can um, play around with some things maybe you didn't know was there and um, if I hit if I click this drop down here to glow and check it then I can add a a actual um, I'm sorry check inner glow 
or I can check outer glow. I can change the color of the glow on both just by clicking the colored box here or click OK. Let's just change it to a different color so you can see how it works. Let's say OK. And the outer glow, for instance, as you can see, we start to add an outer glow and how far it extends beyond the image is up to you. And the uh, uh, opacity, that is, of course, the transparency of the glow. So just for playing around purposes, we'll just leave it there. And then the bevel, this is a good feature uh, as well. If I check that, then I can bevel my image and make it look kind of uh, uh, textured, I guess, maybe ex extruding out uh, or beveled, I guess is the word, obviously. But as you can see it change here as I move it, um, move this lever further to the right. And uh, let's just give it something that's a little obvious. And then stroke. And the stroke is what goes around this image here. So if I choose that, then I'm adding three pixels of a stroke, and I can also make it bigger, as you can tell. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. Occupancy, I'm sorry, opacity is, uh, I'll fade it out a little, just for fun. I can hit reset, meaning go back to the beginning, or leave it as is. Uh, we're just going to, for fun, we're just going to leave it as is. Okay. And, or I can hit cancel and just forget the whole thing, but I'm just going to click OK. And now what I'm ready to do is to create um, duplicate layers on this particular document. I can print up to four images, just as I have created here, um, on this 8x10. So I can do this by, if I come over here where, it's, where it, my first layer is, and I right click on it, then I can uh, duplicate the layer. If I duplicate the layer, then it duplicates the layer and all the effects that I've added to the image, which is what I want to do because I'm preparing this for a print job. So I want to get four um, images on this page. So I would just say duplicate layer. And I can call this, uh, like earlier we said image one, when I brought the image in, um, the name of the image was Vicky Lynn, but now it's going to be... Um, We'll call it Vicky Lynn 2, so we know that's layer 2. And I'm going to say OK. And now I'm ready to slide this over. OK? Because it dropped it on top of the one I already created. And if I move these around, this is the order in which the layers are, meaning that Vicky 2 is now on top, and Vicky Lynn, meaning the first image, is, is on bottom. So um, we can duplicate the same layer. We right click, duplicate layer, and we'll call this three. Just so you can see how layers work as well. I'll click OK. Now we have a third layer. It's in the center of layer one and layer two. So what we want to do is drag this down, and now we have three images on one document, which is where we're headed, is to fill up this document. So one more layer, right click, then left click on duplicate layer and we'll say uh, 4 and then we click OK and now we're ready as you can see this move behind but in front of some others because of the placement of the layer 4 is behind the first layer and so forth and so on up to layer, layer 2 now you can move these layers around in any order you want which is really insignificant to what we're doing for, for this video and that's just being able to place more than one image on a page so that we can uh, print just one printout and uh, send it over to our to our printer to do a job so again if your document is big enough for how many images you want to print out then it's really easy um, to just duplicate the layer or you can place a, an, an additional layer, for instance, let's say, let's just take two away. Now we've completed the demonstration of how to add images or to duplicate a layer. Let's talk about just adding an additional image, maybe a different uh, picture. It doesn't have to be the same picture or to go back to the original image you want to print. So let's just delete for fun, we'll just delete the last two layers we brought in. So we right click, 
delete layer. It's asking us if we're sure. We'll say yes. As you can see, we're starting to remove some of these layers. Delete layer, yes. Now let's say, for instance, we just want to add a different image on the same document, and we want to print, you know, uh, the third image being different than the uh, than than the one we have, or we want to go back to the original layer. Same way, you just go File Place, and then you can grab a second image um, to add to your document. So um, we'll just add something here, and we can bring this down. And if you grab the corner, it should constrain the proportions um, so that you can, um, so it doesn't stretch in any way. This is a different image. So let's say we want to add a different image um, or picture. We just click the checkbox. And uh, as with the others, you can right click and edit the layer and do all kinds of fancy uh, filtering effects to the image, which we're not going to do with this image. I just want to demonstrate the fact that you can add different images as well as duplicate layers. So I'm just going to click cancel, cancel out of that. And uh, to duplicate this layer, I would just right click and duplicate layer. And we'll call this uh, 2. Okay, and now we're ready to slide this over as well. And that's how you add images to one document in Photoshop. Again, my name is Vicki, and as always, I'm, I thank you for your time. If you have any questions, be sure to give us a call here at Condi, and I will be happy to um, assist uh, with the uh, things we've went over in this video. Thank you.